Okay. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome to Bridge Constructor Stunts, a sequel to the Bridge Constructor games, which were about building a bridge. This is about uh, driving the car more than building the bridge, but it's still pretty fun. I've done the first couple levels, and it seems decent. Hopefully it'll pick up at a decent pace, and if not, I'll edit it down, no problem. Do the thing now! Yeah! We built the bridge! Oh! I almost landed it. Not quite. Zoom, motherfucker! Well, well... Let me try that again. I want to get them stars. <laughs> I don't know why I want to, but I definitely want to. Oh, oh, god, it was so gorgeous. Oh, I should build a little something over here is what I should do. Is that what I'm to understand? Can I... can I... I can. Okay, just give a little... a little... a little bumpy bump. <laughs> oh, I don't have money! Damn it! Alright. Well, I'm gonna gas it the whole time. Hopefully we can get those stars. Oh no! I suck. No, 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 no. You gonna do this one more again? Yeah, tricks. Oh, oh, keep it going. Yes, that's how we get them. Good enough. <laughs> Got to do some flippies. I like it. They're stepping it up, as as should be. All right, do the thing. Tilt it back. Hit that jump. Oh, damn it. Okay, it's fine. We'll keep going. Yes! Yes! Oh, shit. And then I'm jumped into a river. Okay. We kind of got the first part uh, down well enough. Yes, this is the meat of the game. This is, this is what I'm talking about. Okay. So, if we can launch... We'll just launch over it, bro. We'll just launch over it. All right. Now let's try it. This first jump is gonna be the hard one. Um, I basically gotta oh, stack myself up on top of this without it falling. Get myself across like that. There we go. Very difficult. I could go back and get the screw probably, but I'm not going to. Nope, nope. This game, I asked it to step it up and it definitely did. So friends, here's my score breakdown for Bridge Constructor Stunts. I thought it was a relatively fun game. Not a whole lot to it, obviously, uh, but a good time was able to be had, and I'm glad they brought back the elements from the old game and kind of added something new to it. So the controls, I've given a 7 out of 10. They're definitely serviceable. You won't be flipping around like in Rocket League or something like that, but um, it does what it needs to do. The physics are realistic, if anything. So, definitely a decent job on the controls, out of 7 out of 10. The fun factor, I've given a 4 out of 10. I felt that the goals and such for the levels, uh, basically blocking your progress, was not really the best choice that could have been made, is what I will say. While I don't want to be pushed through the levels, or just handed a victory or anything like that, um, it's also really difficult sometimes to get the stars or do the do the flips or whatever the fuck and that can just put a halt on your progress which is really unfortunate so yeah four out of ten took a hit on the fun factor fortunately the difficulty is uh, picked up because of that so the difficulty is at an eight out of ten really really quite difficult um, it starts out really really slow but picks up the pace near near about halfway through so, good job. Difficulty, 8 out of 10. Replayability, I've given a 7 out of 10. I can see myself coming back to this game. There are multiple ways to complete the levels and such. And uh, there are different vehicles, which are interesting to me. And although the vehicles don't add as much of a mix-up as I would like, they're just like different weights and things like that, it's still fun. Uh, you know, the dump truck has stuff flying out the back and the tow truck explodes on impact and stuff, so... It's pretty cool, all things considered. I could see myself coming back to it, building bridges different ways to get through the levels. So, uh, 
yeah, Bridge Constructor, I didn't see myself coming back to at all. This definitely holds my interest with the replayability at a 7 out of 10. The Innovation, I've given a 5 out of 10. It is relatively average, I would say. It does add some new things compared to the last game, but uh, we've seen demolition things before, um, such as Turbo Dismount. So I like the fact that the bridge, bridge construction was added into it, although I would like to see just a little more to bump the Innovation score above just the average range. The aesthetic, I've given the graphics a 6 out of 10. They are a bit uh, lo-fi for what I would expect. A little childish, cartoony. Uh, the box is breaking and stuff isn't as done probably as well as it could be. But it's definitely serviceable. I, I gave it a slightly above average at 6 out of 10. Um, but yeah, it, it could definitely use just a bit of polish if uh, it wants to push its way up. The music I've given an 8 out of 10, I really do like the soundtrack, although there aren't that many tracks actually on it. They all have like a really cool rockabilly theme feel to them, and uh, yeah, I can get behind that 100%. So if you like trucks, explosions, you'll probably like rockabilly music, and I think that fits well. So 8 out of 10 on the music, wonderful, wonderful job. Um, the, the sound effects I've given a 7 out of 10, explosions, boxes smashing. It's serviceable um, without being annoying, so I gave it a 7 out of 10. I think that um, I think the engine revving and things like that are done really well. They're super low in the mix, so it doesn't become repetitive or annoying every time you start your car. Um, there's, there's a lot to love on the aesthetic side of this game, at least in the sound department. So I give the sound effects a 7 out of 10. Story, I've given a 0 out of 10. Go drive some cars over some bridges, blow some shit up. What else do you really need? Even something super stupid and um, redundant just to get the the plot moving <laughs> would be nice. Uh, but there's no plot at all in this story, which I find extremely disappointing um, because it is something that I enjoy in games. So give me my motivation, director. <laughs> Zero out of ten. Level design, I've given a 7 out of 10. It's done relatively well. Multiple ways to complete the levels, many collectibles within the levels. I'd like to see some unlockables and things like that, which kind of ties back into the replayability score being not a perfect 10 out of 10. Um, but yeah, the levels themselves are extremely well designed. The first half of the game is a bit repetitive and a bit monotonous and probably not my favorite thing. But once you get uh, to build the bridges yourselves and find your own way through the levels, it becomes a lot more engaging. And they probably should have done that around the uh, the second campaign. Uh, there was still a lot of hold ha hand holding on the the uh, the second and even the third campaign. So yeah, just a little bit um, less hand holding would would bump that level design for me. So overall, bridge constructor stunts uh, falls into just about the average range for me it's definitely not above average but it's it's a decent game you can sit down and have a laugh with the final score is a 59 out of 100 that is a 2.95 out of five stars basically three out of five stars um not quite three out of five stars which is the average so yeah i'm, I'm sticking with below average i wasn't blown away by this game but if it's something you enjoy go check it out i won't discourage that I hope you have enjoyed this review, a little bit of gameplay. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. If you did enjoy this episode, please remember to like, comment, and or subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one, friends. Until then, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.